Hello, it's Thursday. How's everybody doing? I'm gonna miss you guys a little bit today because Mrs. Wall, guess what? I'm gonna go into the classroom and I am going to be um, putting some things away and cleaning up a little bit and uh, doing things like that inside the classroom today. So I might not see all of you uh, at our meetings, uh, but I would catch up with you tomorrow if I don't, okay? Um, Cause I'm gonna be busy, busy. I'll try to meet with you, but we'll see what happens, okay? Um, we'll see how it goes in there. I gotta take a peek, see what it looks like, all right? Okay, so um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through flashcards with the letters on it, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when we see the card, we're just gonna go, um, can you remember what the card is from, the W? Can you remember that that's the window? So we'll go like that, we'll go window card W, wah, wah, wah. All right, will you guys help me do that? Do you like my flowers back there? Yeah, some friends of mine gave me those. That's nice. I know they're beautiful. All right, here we go. Those are roses, by the way. Okay, when we get to the rose card, that's a rose, rose card R. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here we go. So let's just start with the W, okay? Window card W, wah, wah, wah. Guitar card G, 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 g. Notice they're out of order, right? Not any kind of order here. Um, do you remember what that card is? Yep. Box card X. X, X, X. Yo yo card Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple card A. Ah, ah, ah. Fire card F. F, F, F. Map card M. Mm, mm, mm. Nest card N. Mm-mm-mm. Ah, 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 ah. Look how big your mouth gets. Ah, octopus card. O, ah, ah, ah. Piano card. P, 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 p. Queen card. That's on our curly hair day. Queen card. Q, U. The U's not on there, huh? Qua, qua, qua. Rose card. R, er, er, er. Jump. Bing card J, 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 J. Bat card B, 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 B. Camel card C, K, K, K. I almost forgot that one. Zipper card Z, 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 Z. <laughs> Dolphin card D, 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 D. I was gonna say tiger. It's not tiger, is it? It's turtle. Turtle card T. T, t, t. Insect card I. I, I, I. I was gonna say iguana. Umbrella card U. Uh, uh, uh. That one's we're working on this week, huh? Lemon card L. O, O, O. Koala card K or CK at the end of the word. K, k, k. Volcano card v, 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 v. Sun card S. S, 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 s. Hippo card H. <laughs> Egg card E. E, E, E. Wow, that took Miss Wall's brain power to remember all those, too, without the pictures. I'm thinking about a different program that we had years ago, so some of those words are stuck in my head, too, like iguana and that kind of thing. So, all right, today um, in your homework, you are going to be working on two beginning sounds, and it's the g, g, that guitar card, G, as well as the w, w. Window card W, woo, woo, woo. So these are the two sounds that we're working on, okay? So right now we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of work on one of the sounds um, right now, or you're gonna hear the sound anyway, and some words that I'm gonna give you. But what you're going to do, our job is to blend the sounds together. So I'm gonna give you some sounds and you're gonna blend them together like you're making those chocolate chip cookies, okay? You put a little bit of chocolate chips, of course, some flour, some sugar, eggs, put all those together and you mix them all up blend it all together and you end up with a chocolate chip cookie. Well, no chocolate chip cookies here. Actually, Jack Jacqueline made some the other night. Ooh, they were delicious. They're a little crunchy, but they were delicious. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the letters, blend them together, and what you're gonna come up with is not a chocolate chip cookie, but a word. All right, you gotta try it. Here we go. W, A, X, wax. You got it, like a wax of a candle. How about this one? W, I, P, wipe. Ooh, and I forgot to say today's cleaning day. So if you can't think of what to do today, you get out there and wipe down the counters. Clean things up, clean your room, help your mom clean the living room area, maybe vacuum a little bit, sweep, sweep, sweep the patio, clean some dishes. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff to clean all the time. It's endless. All right, try this one. W -e -b. Web, like a spider web. Oh, you know what? I'm just doing lots of bird walking here already. We found a black widow out in our front yard yesterday. So I had that red little hourglass on the tummy. Ooh, it's kind of scared me. Even though it was teeny tiny tiny, I don't like spiders though. All right, here we go. W -i -g. Shh, Miss Wall wears one. W -i -g. Wig. How about this one? W -i -n. Win, like you win the prize. How about this one? W -a -t. Wait, wait for me. How about this one? W -o -k. W -o -k. Woke. I just woke up. No, I've been up for hours. How about this one? W -e Weak, and that could be like you're not strong, but you're weak, or what week are we going on vacation? Could mean two different things, two different spellings though too. Okay, so that was really good blending. Okay, uh, for your high frequency words today, I didn't bring out that fry, that third list that we're working on, but I did bring out some phrases. So we're gonna go through and read these as fluently as we can, meaning we're not gonna read them kind of like robot-like, I call it, like I go with. We want to say, I go with. So you read, your voice just goes all the way through nicely. And that fast, we don't talk like, I go with. That's not how we talk. So you just want to read them like you read or would be talking to me or talking to your mom or your dad. I go with. But not like, I go with. That's too much of a pause between the words. Okay, let's try this one. I like my. Good. That was better, your fluency. That's called fluency when you read it smoothly like that. Here we go. I like to. Okay. Here is my dog. Something like that. Yes and no. Is she here? Okay. Can she play? I, oops, can't see it, can you? I like to play soccer, something like that. How about this? I can go to a, how about this one? With the cat. <laughs> kind of funny. How about this one? I can go for a run around the block. Get some exercise, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do now is, Miss Wall's gonna get my board set up. We are gonna make a set circle map. So if you wanna push, press the pause button, I'm gonna pause for a moment, and I'm gonna um, turn my board back here into a circle map. In the middle of your circle map, remember we put exactly what we're thinking about, what we're talking about, and I want you to write the letter G, okay? And that's the letter, again, that we're gonna be working on today is the letter uh, G and things that begin with that G, 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 okay? And you can write a capital G and a lowercase g, okay? So you can get your notebook and you could do make your circle map along with me if you like, okay? All right, you go get your things, I'll go get my things, I'll meet you back here, okay? Okay, did you guys make your circle map? Okay, so circle map, it actually looks like an oval, but we call it a circle map. Remember when we do a circle map, it's all the things that we can think of in our brain. So it's in really no particular order or anything. It's just things that we think of, okay? That start with a g, g sound, okay? So I put the G, G, capital G, lower, Oops, I kind of erased that. G in the middle, okay? And then we make a big circle or an oval. 
just cover your whole notebook page, okay, as big as you can. Okay, and then the inside, we're gonna put some things up again with a good. So, get any ideas? Oh, good one. Why didn't I think of that? Can you guys say girl? That was a good one, girl. Girl, what does girl start with? Right, a G, so let's write that down. We got g -g girl. Can you see the blue okay? Oh, you can probably see the black butter. Let me look back, okay? So we got girl, we got g, g, it's G, okay? I, this one's kind of hard to spell. Grr is your R, grr, oh. Right, the ending sounds out, oh, but look what you got there. You got your G, remember your G, your lowercase G, it hangs down, okay? So that it should be hanging down below your other letters there. All right, girl, and if you want, you could draw a little, you know, little girl here. Maybe she's got pigtails. It's always good to draw a little picture of what it is. There's our little girl. You guys see it okay? Yeah, kind of. Draw a little girl. <laughs> anyway, that's her hair at the top. It's not like antennas or something, okay? Okay, I'll make it different. Hang on. I'll just make it like that. Can you see that better? <laughs> okay, there's my girl. All right, I've got one for you, okay? How about this? What is this? Yeah, it's a present, but it's another word for present. Yes, gift. This is a gift. Do you hear the g, 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 gift? Okay, so that's a gift. And it is spelled with a g, g, that G. So it's g, I, f, gift. And the last sound, gift, gift. Right, that T turtle card, right? Gift. And for gift, you could just make a little box or a square. We've been working on shapes, right? You can make your little square and just do a little cross in the middle there. You can do some little curly cues, make a bow. That kind of looks like a gift. There it is. Okay. So we got gift, girl. Oh, I got another one. Don't be scared about this one, okay? Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it goes. <laughs> Ooh, 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 what is that called? Yeah, our ghost. Usually you just see those around Halloween time, huh? Ghost, what does ghost start with? Right, your g, g ghost, right? So your ghost, you got your G, and there's a quiet little H in there, g o o. Whenever you hear the name of a letter inside of a word, just write that letter. g o s ghost. Right, your S and the last sound, ghost, ghost. Right, your tiger card. I'm sorry, your turtle card. Ghost, and a ghost, you can just make wiggly, one, two, three. Woo, there he is. There's our ghost. Okay, what else, what else? Oh, oh, I found my hand sanitizer. But what color is it? Look at those little bubbles in there, isn't that funny? It is, yeah, green. Green hand sanitizer. What does green start with? G, g, green. Right, it starts with our G, right? So we'll write that G, 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 rose card, right? Green, has actually two E's. Green in the last sound, green. Right, is your N, okay? Green, good. Um, and if I had a green pen, I could put some green on there, but I don't right now. That's okay. If you do, you could put a little green color right there. A green crayon or something. Oh, this is a game. Oh, there's another one, game. This is a game uh, that some people play here in the desert is very popular for this. People come, did you know people come from all over the world, all over the United States to play with this little ball? Mm-hmm, they play golf. This is called a golf ball. What does golf start with? Right, your g, g, golf, right? So we'll put that over here. We've got the G, g, all. There's an O in there and a gol. There's your L, golf, golf. Right, the fire card, F, right? Golf. You just make a little golf ball. Or maybe make a little golf club. You guys seen that before? Have you guys played golf before? Yeah, it has like little dimples all over. Those are called dimples, those little indentations. So you can make some little dots on your ball, maybe. I don't know. Golf. Okay. Let's see. We got girl, gift, 
ghost, golf, green. Oh, this, I just had these on yesterday. Do you guys know what these are? Uh-huh. When they have little individual fingers like that, these are called gloves. What do gloves start with? Right, that g, g. So we put that on here. Gloves is g. Ooh, you gotta be careful to listen to that next sound. Gl, L. Gloves, there's an O. Glove. Yep, you got your V and then an E and an S. Gloves, you could just make like a little finger for these, huh? But that part's kind of long. Gloves. Okay. Let me try five fingers on there. Those are gloves. And you know what I use these? These are special gloves. These aren't gloves for like when it's snowing outside or like freezing cold outside. These are gloves that you use to do what? Does anybody know? Oh, does it say on there? No, it says Ethel. I don't know who Ethel is, but it says Ethel on there. These are gloves for when you go into the, yes, garden. I was planting yesterday, so I didn't want to get my fingers all dirty and hands all dirty and in my fingernails and stuff. I put on the gloves and then I don't get poked with the grass or whatever I'm working with or get really dirty. I use my gloves in the garden. What does garden start with? Right. G Am I going to fit that? Up? I'm going to squeeze it in because I love the garden. Let's put it right here, okay? Garden. G R is A R. Gar. D D D D D N. And here I can just draw some flowers. I love flowers. Garden. Okay, there you go. Garden. So if you've got a circle map, I'm sure it's looking good. But we had lots of things that start with the G, and of course, there's a million other things. And you're going to see some that are on your uh, papers today in your homework. And I didn't have some of those items, but I gave you some ideas here, and you'll have some other ideas on your paper today, too. Okay? All right. Well, that is it for language arts today. Thanks for um, helping me with the circle map. We did a great job. Our brains are really working hard, and that's fabulous. So um, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to get my map. You can uh, take a little break. Maybe you want to do your actual pages. Um, that have the that G page on there, and um, we'll get back together in a few moments, okay? All right, see you in a minute.